Matawale in this Ghana music industry, he, he is a god. He's god of Ghana music industry. And no one criticizes a god. You don't stand any chance criticizing. And if he moved to Samini, it's not your business. And lion and lion fight, you monkey. You don't go there. Tell me stupid. Go and go and start doing music. And what he went through, go through it. And come out successful more than he has done. Then you cannot say you can criticize him. Welcome to the typical show with me, AJ King. On a normal day, there are certain people I want to talk about because I have no reason to do so. Whatever they do on social media, however they live their life, it is their business, it is not my business. And in fact, I don't care about it. But when these people make Shatawale a topic or bring Shatawale into their conversations, then they give me a reason to talk about them. Because when it comes to Shatawale, I have so much to say, a lot to talk about. I'm very vocal about Shatawale. One of these people is this boy. Could you show him? For some time now, he has been talking about Shatawale, mentioning Shatawale's name. He did that in a post. He said, I love Shatawale. He mentioned Shatawale's name. He interviewed Medica. Within the interview, Medica mentioned Shatawale's name. Then he decided to stay with the name Shatawale, the topic Shatawale, and talk about him for a while. And they continue with the interview. He went on KSM show. Shatawale's name popped up again. He spoke about Shatawale. He stayed with the topic. Talk about Shatawale. Again, all right, he could have put it aside when Shatawale's name pop up. He could have said, okay, I don't want to talk about this place or this topic. Let's put it aside and let's continue with what our discussion. But he decided to stay with Shatawale, talk about him. In all these occasions, when he spoke about Shatawale, there are three things that I jot down that he said that I want us to take a typical look into. And I'll give you a typical insight, deep insight into these things. All right. Shout out to all my um, Christian typical family members and then happy Easter to all of you. And now shout out to all my Muslim typical family members. You are in the Ramadan I mean, season. Allah strengthen you to go through this Ramadan successfully. As you are going through the Ramadan, any temptation that comes your way, may Allah himself, I mean, help you to overcome those temptations. I mean, all right, so... The first thing that I would, like, I would like us to talk about is the post that he made. And he said he loves Shatawale so much. This boy has to understand that we don't care whether he loves Shatawale or not. He must not mention Shatawale's name. Because that is the acceptance and agreement he made. He agreed and accepted that he would not mention Shatawale's name. When he was disrespecting Shatawale in the name of sharing his opinion, Criticizing Shatawale in the name of sharing his opinion. Shata wasn't happy about it. And Shata restricted him. In fact, uh, 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 banned him from mentioning his name or using anything Shatawale to create a content or anywhere, ever he will be. On any occasion, shouldn't mention Shatawale's name or use anything Shatawale. He agreed. He accepted it arrogantly and foolishly. Why am I saying so? Because Shatawale... Is the god of Ghana music industry. Shatawale is the life of Ghana music industry. Ghana music industry cannot survive a day without Shatawale. He is the way, the truth, and the life of Ghana music industry. You talk about Shatawale, you are talking about Ghana music industry. You talk about Ghana music industry, you are talking about Shatawale. So, uh, this person, you cannot create content concerning Ghana music industry without talking about this person. You see, but he did not think about this, about this thing arrogantly with. Stupid pride, he's accepted it. Fine, no problem. For some time, he has been doing it. After that, you know, he keep he has been creating content concerning the entertainment industry, this music thing, interviewing even artists and all that upcoming ones and all. He has been doing well with his content. His content has been doing so well. With Asha Tawale, he's making his money and everything, and everybody is even well, like, wow, this boy with Asha Tawale, he's doing well. Me cry, I applaud him for that. That he's able to create content and everything pertaining the music industry without Shatawale, and he's doing well. Then all of a sudden, we wake up, he has made a U-turn, started mentioning Shatawale's name, start talking about Shatawale, and that is a violation. Something that you yourself accepted, vowed, and you said you will not do. Now you are mentioning the person's name. When the person has not given you the permission to do so, even if you love Shatawale, it is not posting, it is not saying, it is a doing, it's an action word. Go and look for Shatawale, He's not hard to find. He's in this country. If you really want to see him and you push hard, you will see him. Go to him. Because in the interview with Medica, when Shatawali's name popped up, he said that 
he, Shatawale, is far, far above him, and he doesn't have the resources to even the resource to even fight Shatawale or even argue or do go back and forth with Shatawale. He doesn't have the mental resource, spiritual resource, and even the physical resource. He doesn't have it. Showing that he agreed that Shatawale is, is superior and he could show it is inferior. So since he has laid a ban or he has restricted you from mentioning his name or using anything about him to create a content or mention him anywhere on any occasion, you, if you really love him, you go and look for him and uh, you come to self-understanding, self-actualization that you are wrong and he is right. Then you go and apologize to him. Then you ask him for his blessing. Then he will forgive you, bless you. That Okay, now you can go and then use my name or anything about me to create content or mention my name anywhere. Then you can now come back on social media and write, eh, I love Shatawali. Then when you do so, it will make sense. But in this case, You've, the person, you've not, I mean, um, the person has not given the go-ahead. You've not um, uh, smoked that peace pipe with the person yet. You have mentioned his name in the name of you love him. You love him and so what? And so what should we do? You love the person and then you are disrespecting him and you, 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 you are criticizing him in the name of sharing opinion ignorantly about him. Opinion. Please. What you are doing, anything can happen to you. He can sue you because it is something, and if he sue you, he is right because it is something you yourself, you accepted, you agreed to do. Why are you not following it? And continue doing your own thing. And now you have come back uh, violating. Why violating, bro? This is a violation. We don't care. If you love Shatawali, go and apologize to him. Go and kneel down for him to bless you before you come back and start talking about you love Shatawali. This is wrong. Totally wrong. And Shata is not accepting this. I'm telling you with authority. The number two thing he said is from whatever he was saying with KSM and then even with Medica, it shows that he wished that he would come back and then amend things with Shatawali or smoke that peace pipe with Shatawali. But in saying it, you know, he said that he has a problem or the issue he has with Shatawali is that Shatawali feels he could, could show him is too small to criticize him or inferior to criticize him, Shatawali. Listen, this boy could you show him must understand that Shatawali doesn't feel so. It is the fact that everybody we all we know. It's a fact that you could show him you are inferior and too small. And if I say too small, I don't mean age. I mean in experience in this music entertainment, Ghana music entertainment thing, you have no experience. You are inferior to criticize Shatawali. You don't stand any chance or you don't have any moral right to criticize Shatawali. No. Because Shatawale in this Ghana music industry, he, he is a god. He's god of Ghana music industry. And no one criticizes a god. The only person who can criticize Shatawale is somebody who has had more experience and achieved more than Shatawale through this Ghana music industry. That's the person who will have the moral rights, who is a musician and has been able to achieve more than what Shatawale has achieved with music in Ghana here. Because it's not, it's not easy. Check. And who is there? No one is there like that. That makes him far above anybody's criticism. When it comes to music, Ghana music, I mean, Ghana music industry, because that is what this whole conversation is about. That is where this were criticized Shatawale, concerning this Ghana music entertainment thing. You have no right at all. He, when he started in the 1999, early 2000s, he, uh, to 2004, when before he had his hit, uh, album and song, Mukuho, and then no problem. Oh, and it was everywhere. You were little baby. You were like six years. You don't even know what it's what music is, what music industry is. You don't know anything. That's when this person was reigning. And then people gang up and then they did what? Sabotage him and send him down to the lions den for the lion to lions of life to devour him and destroy him. Then he came out successfully. A lot of people went down like that. They couldn't come up. It takes only one one people to go down. Like the Shatawale went down to come out. And this person has been able to come out from where he was pushed to for him to be destroyed and die permanently and not come back. He came back alive. And since he came, he has been raining and raining. New crop of artists have been coming and they are going that he's still standing, still raining. Just 2020, COVID time. This Kumasi boys, plenty of artists came out, giddy, 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 and they were, their songs was all over the place, the world and things. Today, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? 
just within few two one two three years they are down shatter is still standing every day trending and trending and trending and controlling the music industry showing that he is the life he gives life to ghana music industry and nobody can change it with all this experience and what he has gone through in this life you have not gone through a quarter of it and you feel you have you, you you can criticize him in the in the name of sharing opinion about something he said concerning this music industry or something he has done to anybody in this music industry you have no chance you have no right wait and go through the experience you've not even thought of going through what he went through go through what he went through and come out successful the way he has come and then mightier and greater than the way he has come before you he has become before you can stand a chance of criticizing him other than that you don't criticize him he is ghana music industry he is the God today. You don't criticize him. He's the Messiah. You cannot criticize him. Over what? Who are you? You just 2017, you completed SHS, secondary school. Then you started YouTube. So because you created, you now have a YouTube platform and you have su subscribers. So because of that, you, know, you feel that gives you the privilege and then the, the moral right to criticize someone who has had over 20 years experience in something. You want to criticize the person over that same thing that he have had experience but you don't have a single experience tiny experience of that thing he that have had that experience in our music industry thing you want to stand on the same music industry to criticize him are you okay are you okay over 20 years experience in music industry and you want to criticize him based on that same uh, music thing you you are stupid to even think like you can share your opinion in the name of criticism about shatawali or criticize shatawali concerning music music industry in ghana never you are very small shata doesn't feel so that is the right thing you the only thing you can do is to speak facts about him and the fact about shata too is always positive not negative you understand me it's very very positive so yes quote the sheldon listen and listen good you have no right you are too inferior and small just as you yourself say you don't have the resources to fight it because it's far ahead of you yes that shows that you are inferior to criticize somebody that you don't have a resource to do what to fight you have you are you are inferior and small wait if you're able to get that resource that you can fight him boot to boot then you can criticize him then when the fight can you can fight but since you accept that he is far ahead of you and you don't have the resource to even fight him or challenge him it shows that you don't stand any chance of criticizing such a person whether constructively or destructively you don't criticize that person it's far above you yes so understand it not age put age aside Let's go on to the third point, and that one I'll give you a scenario. I'll give you an example. The third point, he said that Shatawale moved to Samini, but he he doesn't want anybody to move to him. Are you thinking well? You said he moved to Samini. Who is Samini? Samini is a musician. Samini is also now. Let me liken this Ghana entertainment industry, the Ghana music music industry. Let me liken it to a jungle or a wildlife because that is where what I. The best thing I can liken it to because everybody in this Ghana music industry is a prey to everybody. You understand? Everybody is riding. See what the media, the TV, everybody is riding on. Train, fame, somebody to, to, be, to, to, to make money every single day. And if you go to a wildlife, that's what happens. Everybody, every animal is a prey to another animal. If you make a mistake, this person will ride on you and feed on you to, to satisfy himself. That is what is happening in Ghana music industry. So when you go to a wildlife, we have animals, group, group, species. species. We have the monkey species, we have the uh, 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 elephant, we have the hippopotamus, we have the snake. We have different, different, different animals and they are group, group, group. They are all in, in, within the wildlife. And everybody is contributing, all the animals are contributing to the success of the wildlife. And we have the royal group, which is the lion pride, also within the jungle. And they rule the jungle. If you come to the Ghana music industry, the musicians, they are the royals. They are the lion, the royal, the pride of lion in the jungle. We, the YouTubers, like you could just share and I, we are the monkeys. We, they, we are jumping, jumping on trends and things and doing, talking about trends and things that we are, that's, we are monkeys in the, in the wilderness. Contribute your own as a monkey in the wilderness. Now, two lion kings are fighting. Or the, the one lion king moved to another lion king and, and then defeated that lion king or fought that lion king. And you, the monkey in the wilderness, you are angry and said because the lion king fought the other lion king. So you have right to also criticize that lion king. You are stupid. You are very stupid. Lions are doing their thing. You monkey, focus and do your thing. You want to go and interfere there. Let me now make it clear for you to understand. Shatawale and Samini, they, are, they were all years back. They were all princes. Samini is older. Shata is young prince.
but then Shatter was a promising and a crown prince at that time. Go and watch that movie, Simba, that uh, lion movie. Then you understand. Then the small one was the crown, pr crown prince. That means that he will be the king in the future. But all of a sudden, just as Simba went to some exile, long and far away, his uncle pushed him. And the same thing, some uncles within the music industry pushed Shatawale to go down to exile. Down, 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 down. Then, after 10 years, he was able to overcome and came back home. As he has come back home, he has come as what? The royal, the king. So he's coming to take his throne. He's coming to rule his territory. That's why he came back. But when he came, his brother, Samini, was on the throne. How will he tell his brother, get down? It is, the throne belongs to me. His brother will not get down. So the only thing is to fight him. It's like coup d'etat. A government is in power. Another government wants to come into power. The only way is to dethrone this government. It is not about negotiating. You fight. And then, the government that is not in power is only to attack the one in power. And the one in power is, in the one in power is only to defend. If he's not able to defend, and then the one attacking is able to conquer him, he takes over. And that is what Shatter did when he came back. Samini was ruling. And it is right for him because two kings cannot be in one kingdom. So one has to step down and one has to ascend the truth. So when Sh Sh Shatter came, Samini's brother was the one ruling. Okay, okay, so I've come back to rule. You are ruling, brother, get down. He moved to him, fight Gidi Gidi. Samini could not defend his throne. What happened? Shatter the throne. Because Shatter have, have gone through a lot and gathered a lot of experience. So he has more strength and power over him. Then he overcame him and took over the throne. Sam, uh, Shatter only has a son, Stoneboy. Then Stoneboy moved to his uncle, which is Samini, because his father was down. And his, father, his, his uncle was reigning. He moved to his uh, Samini and was with Samini. Uh, so when his father, Shatter only came back, he said, okay, my son, you have joined your, your uncle. So right now that I'm dethroning your uncle, you, you, two, you are going with him. That is how I move to Stoneboy too, which is right. That's the only way, and that's the best way. It is happening in normal life every day. And that is what Shatawale did. So a lion king came and then fought another lion king and dethroned him to ascend the throne. You monkey. You said why? He moved to that lion king. So because of that, you monkey in the wilderness, you are angry and you, you can move to him. Then staying in that wilderness, eh, it will come out for your face. The lion, he will chase you out of that, the, the wilderness. He will make your life miserable in the wilderness. And that is what Shata will do to you. If you are not careful, you could just share this. So be careful. Just as you said, monkey does not have what it takes to fight a lion. And you have said it and agreed that you don't have the resources to fight him. He's far ahead of you. That means you are a monkey and he's a lion. How do you fight him? The musicians, they are the lion pride. They, they rule the music entertainment scene. They rule it. What are you talking about, brother? Hmm? As Shatawali has come, Marco Kre Kumante, eh, Abeku Santana, and the rest, at that time, who, when he, he came with his hit song and he was everywhere, they pushed him down and made him suffer for that 10 years, made him went to that exile for that 10 years. As he came back, as he's attacking them, he's right. If it is Muvianka, he has killed all of them. Like when he came now, he will move to them one by one, go and lock this one in one room, take knife, took his throat, tra, tra. like the way you watch some movies, then somebody, some people will gang up to kill the person, but the person didn't die, and the person will come back, then he will come and re take revenge. And this is what Shatawale is doing, and he is right for it. Nobody can criticize him. Whatever he's doing in this music industry is because of what these people did to him in the past, and he has come and he's taking revenge on them. He, he has power now over them, taking revenge on them. You, this small boy, you just came recently. You don't know much. You don't have any experience. You don't have any tiny experience of what he have had. And you claim you can what? Criticize him. You don't stand any chance to criticize him. And if he moved to Samini, it's not your business. And lion and lion fight, you monkey. You don't go there. Stay in the wilderness and contribute your quota to the success of the wilderness. And then don't go into the lions, the royal family, and say you are going to interfere in what they are doing. You don't have anything to do over there. Don't be stupid. Go and go and start doing music. And what he went through, go through it. And come out successful more than he has done. Then you cannot say you can criticize him. Other than that, you have no right to criticize him. So Kodo Sheldon, you better stop mentioning Shatali's name until he gives you the go-ahead. Don't do it. And Shatta is not ready to give you the go-ahead to mention his name because he doesn't even need you to mention his name. Because he has people like us who are mentioning his name and doing the right thing and the good thing and pushing him and I mean telling the perfect story about him to the world. And Shatta is watching this. He will not come and reply to you because he knows that I will give you the reply that he wants you to hear, the thing that he wants you to know, I will, I will tell you. And that is what I have told you. 
So stop it with the shielding right now. Other than that, as you continue and you continue and you continue, if later he, he takes you on, the lion takes you on, don't call him a bad name because you started it. I am telling you, peace be unto you. We meet again.